Hey guys, it's Aubrey and Tara, and today we're going to show you how to make this beautiful crepe cake. Mother's Day is coming up soon, so make this for your mom and she will love it. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we have so much fun making this, so without further ado, let's get started. In a blender or food processor, add in one and a half cups of milk, four tablespoons of melted butter, four large eggs, room temperature. Also, if you don't want to use a blender or food processor, you can just whisk all your ingredients together and that'll work really well too. Then you'll need two teaspoons of vanilla, one tablespoon of sugar, one teaspoon salt, and one cup of all-purpose flour. Then blend on low speed until smooth. And scrape down the sides of the blender as needed. Your crepe batter should be nice and smooth. Then set aside because now we're going to preheat our pan. Over medium heat, preheat your pan. And today we're using an 8 inch nonstick pan. Lightly grease your hot pan with butter. Then add in a little less than a quarter cup of your batter. And swirl batter to evenly coat the pan. Once the sides are lightly golden brown, flip your crepe. Do this carefully because you don't want it to tear. Let it cook on the other side for about 30 seconds, then remove from heat. This batter makes about 15 crepes. And just have fun with it. After a few tries, you'll get better at it. And now we're going to make our frosting, which is so good. In a large bowl, whip an 8 ounce block of cream cheese. Once it's fully whipped, it should be light and fluffy. Then add in 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract and 3 quarter cups of powdered sugar, then blend until smooth. Then set aside the cream cheese mixture. In a separate large bowl, add in 2 cups of heavy cream and whip on medium high speed until you get stiff peaks. Then fold the whipped cream into the cream cheese mixture. And we love this frosting because it's not overly sweet and it's so light and fluffy. And we use it on pretty much every cake we make. You'll also need 3 cups of chopped strawberries. And now it's time to build up your cake. So start off with one crepe, then add on a generous dollop of your cream and smooth it out. Then add on a scoop of strawberries and spread them out. And just repeat the process until all of your crepes are used up. And then once you've added your last crepe, add a generous dollop of your whipped cream and smooth it out. Then chill your cake for 30 minutes. And then it's time to decorate the top of your cake. We're just using some halved strawberries, but do whatever you would like. And now it's time to cut the cake. This cuts so smoothly and turns out beautifully. Oh you guys, this is so good. That cream cheese frosting is everything. You have to try this this Mother's Day. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and we will see you in our next video. Bye!